Two point perspective. Lines that converge on two vanishing points. Linear perspective. A technique representing three dimensional space on a flat surface. Vanishing point. The point in space where it where the point in space where items seem to disappear. Vertical lines. Straight lines drawn from top to bottom. What is two-point perspective? Two-point perspective. Lines that converge on two vanishing points. Linear perspective. A technique for representing three-dimensional space on a flat surface. Vanishing point. The point in space where items appear to disappear. Vertical lines. Straight lines drawn from top to bottom. What are the two rules of two-point perspective? The rules to, to drawing in this perspective are simple. Vertical lines remain straight while horizontal lines follow the angle of the vanishing points. Some artists prefer to draw a grid based on the horizon line and vanishing points to make this simpler. All right. What is the difference between one point and two point perspective? One point perspective uses one vanishing point placed on the horizon line. Two point perspective uses two points placed on the horizon line. Three point perspective uses three vanishing points. Linear perspective is one of the six ways to create the illusion of space on a two-dimensional surface. This is called freehand drawing. But what is it exactly? Freehand drawing refers to the ability to draw something without using any tools or mechanical instruments like grids, rollers, or a compass to help them do it. Instead, the artists draw using their hands and rely on their observational skills to measure and draw what they see. For many artists, mastering freehand is one of the goals. Freehand is the purest way to draw, and it is the most difficult way. To draw something freehand, you must not use anything that could be considered an aid to do it. Tracing, taking measures, using a compass, or anything as such is not freehand drawing. Do you remember when you, you know, picked up a, a tool and started to draw anything? Or maybe you saw, you know, a young person doing that, right? They weren't using any tools. They were just using their heart, their spirit, their innocence of discovery and curiosity. Right? So it's natural for us as we're beginning here to feel like there's a necessity for grid, necessity for rulers, necessity to use this to draw a subject. And yeah, while using ruler is great, and we will use rulers. Every artist and every person learning this skill of drawing, drawing freehand and being able to do this without any aid is, is, a, is, is a skill that is um, one of the objectives, okay? that um, you practice drawing freehand, 
the the better you'll get right and practicing uh, freehand comes with um, understanding and working with the word gesture understanding and working with with your breath and just working with your body and paying attention to um, uh, your, you know, just whatever the challenge is right there before you. Right? And taking breaks as you need to take breaks. 